All right, in this video, we're going to talk about actually how to mirror shapes and lines and things like that, as well as use what's called construction lines. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to create curves and arches between my circles here for what will be a fidget spinner. So I'm going to grab my three-point arch tool, and I'm going to select it and try to go ahead and make a curve. Now, if I wanted to actually go ahead and create sort of a perfect lined up line here, I can actually use what's called the tangent tool, which I would specify more in a later video. And let's say I want this exact curve on the right hand side. I could try to draw it and line it up, but there's actually an easier way called mirror. The mirror tool is right here next to the offset tool and in between the transform tool. In order to actually mirror something, you need what's called a mirror line. Now this is basically a center line. And if you have your object selected on the center of your sketch, you can go ahead and use that center line. Or you can create your own center line by making a construction line. So to make a construction line, I'm going to go ahead and click on my line tool and just draw a line down the center. Now to turn it into a construction line, I can select it, right click, and hit construction. This now turned it into a dotted line, which means I do not have to delete this. It's not part of the sketch. It's just here to help me draw. And I can put construction lines anywhere and not have to worry about them affecting the design like a typical line would. Now if I grab my mirror tool, I can select that construction line that I drew and I can select the object that I want to mirror and it will just simply duplicate it on the other side of the mirror line and when I exit, I will have this kind of sketch sort of drawn out. 